um, what do we say, a cooking utensil, cooking utensil. So a utensil, something we use, cooking utensil. Or we could say a baking dish. This is a baking dish. Baking dish. Good, great. So these are purposes. Uh, maybe we can say a building, building blocks, building blocks. These are building blocks. We make something with them, building blocks. And so these words purpose, sometimes, sometimes they have ing because that's what we do with them. And sometimes they don't. It's just like, what is it for? What is it for? Cool. All right. So let me know if you have any more examples or questions. And then we can try some examples. Those were great ideas. I hate cleaning shoes. Oh. <laughs> cleaning shoes. So when we are cleaning shoes, cleaning is our verb and shoes is our noun. But after, oh, I have cleaned. Oh, I'm sorry. I read, I read it wrong. I'm sorry. I have cleaning shoes. Oh, cleaning. Okay. Let's see. What are cleaning shoes? Cleaning shoes. Okay. That's not cleaning shoes. Like mop <laughs> okay let's see what are cleaning shoes cleaning shoes okay that's not cleaning shoes like mop shoes <laughs> like this <laughs> cleaning shoes <laughs> we should get some of these <laughs> these are very smart <laughs> cleaning shoes Awesome. <laughs> Shoes that are bad, but oh, okay. I see. So I think these are cleaning shoes. Okay. Shoes that are bad, but I don't care if they get worse while cleaning. Hmm. What would I call those? I might call those, um, Hmm. So in my yard shoes, yeah, yard shoes, cleaning shoes. When I was younger, <clears throat> I had school clothes and play clothes. The play clothes are the ones that I don't care if they get dirty. Yeah, cleaning shoes, shoes for cleaning. That's a good one. Yard shoes, yard shoes, shoes that you work in the yard. Yeah, awesome. Great examples. Cleaning shoes. Once I had self-cleaning shoes. <laughs> oh no. Oh, interesting. Self-cleaning shoes. Dirt. Oh. Dirt job from. Oh, interesting. Huh. Self-cleaning shoes. Oh, you just cut the grass. Oh, no. Well, now it is finished. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I never heard of self-cleaning shoes. That's very nice. Excellent. All right. So let's look at some examples. <clears throat> so let's do this one first. Are you ready? <laughs> so <laughs> we see a dog. <laughs> so remember, these are our adjectives. Quantity, how many? Opinion, size, age or weather, shape, color, origin material and purpose <laughs> uh, 
Oh, interesting. Cleaning, dirtying. So great. So to answer the cleaning and dirtying question, so in English we wouldn't say dirtying. We would say getting dirty, getting it dirty, <laughs> getting it dirty. Yeah. So we don't have a verb like clean, cleaning, dirt. In English, we cannot say dirtying, but we can say getting, getting dirty, dirtying. Oh, thank you, dirtying, dirtying. Thank you, <laughs> dirtying. I don't use that very often, but that's yes, that's the word, dirtying, dirtying. Like he is dirtying the house with his dirty shoes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about this. They don't be dirty themselves. They make dirty all around themselves. Yeah, dirtying. Yes. So that is dirtying. Mm hmm. If you if your shoes are dirty and you are walking and now everything else is dirty too, that is dirtying. You are dirtying your house. Yeah, dirtying. Good. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Maybe maybe I'll use a whiteboard. No, no whiteboard. I'll just write here. Okay. So first, <laughs> I saw a silly puppy. <laughs> so maybe our noun, our noun is puppy. Now, what can we use to describe this puppy? Okay, we got silly. <laughs> Little. Ugly. Oh. Black. <laughs> Interesting. And hello, welcome. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Silly little black, ugly, interesting. <laughs> Good ones. Um, I will say one. We can call it bug-eyed. Bug-eyed means the eyes are very big. Bug-eyed. <laughs> Heartwarming, skinny, aw, good one, skinny, yes, skinny means small, thin, <laughs> heartwarming, oh, these are great ones, heartwarming, derpy, <laughs> derpy means like silly, funny, <laughs> derpy, Bull, yes, bulging eyes, yes. Usually we will say bug, bug-eyed, bug-eyed. <laughs> Skinny Puppy is the name of a rock band, okay. <laughs> we are learning many things. <laughs> Excellent, very hardcore. <laughs> Skinny puppy. Uh. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to write. I'm going to write our adjective types here. So we have them. <laughs> Rock scares me. Oh no. Okay, so we have we have quantity. Oh no. This marker, every time I use it, I close it because it is a bad marker. That is my adjective, bad marker. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> we, I wish we could vote how many people think this puppy is cute and how many people think this puppy is ugly. <laughs> I vote for cute. <laughs> Cute or ugly? <laughs> so, quantity. 
opinion value ugly ugly okay two cutes two uglies ugly cute oh <laughs> we are equal ugly ugly cute okay <laughs> Oh, it is ugly cute. Oh, <laughs> all right. Um, and we have size, age, shape, um, color, origin, material, and purpose. Okay. So, now, these are important because when we speak English, we usually put the adjectives in this order. This is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. Terrifying. Ooh. All right, I'm going to add terrifying, and then let's try to put these all together. Oh. terrifying <laughs> it's a terrifying cute it's a terrifying ugly cute puppy <laughs> <coughs> so now we can use two adjectives or three or four or five all together for example this is a cute small little is small we can say small or little a cute a cute little little puppy a cute little puppy <laughs> or an interesting little black puppy <laughs> so now we can put all of these together and Sometimes we would say a let me go back. Tell me. Okay, let's let's do an astronaut's example. This is a cute small young black puppy. Okay. A cute small young black puppy. Now, this is important because we usually do not say, this is a black, cute, little puppy. So black is last. This is a cute, little black puppy. So we don't usually change the order. We don't say a black, small puppy. We say a small black puppy. And this, if if you ask most English speakers to put these in order, we cannot. We cannot remember the order. But when we hear something, we hear that it sounds good or it sounds bad. So after you practice many times, you will hear, does it sound okay or does it sound weird? Um, yeah, I know the ranking because I am an English teacher and <laughs> English, the rules. So these are the rules and it's helpful to remember this when we are learning because then we can practice putting them in the right order. So for example, when I learn French, I need to know the order in French which is similar to English. And maybe in other languages, they also have an order. You can see what sounds good and what sounds bad. So after you hear many, many, many times, you will start to hear, oh, that sounds good, or ooh, that does not sound good. Yeah, good, okay. 